Hey guys, how you doing? It's Mike from Lumen Lights here and today we're showing you one of our new battery powered park hands. Now we have um, all the same varieties that we have in our corded park hands such as the 10 millimeter RGB, the RGBA, the RGBW, the RGBAW, the tripar and the quad par. This particular fixture is our battery operated quad par which features six 10 watt quad LED bulbs. There's red, green, blue and white RGBW in this particular fixture and this fixture has a white finish. We have them in either white or black, your choice and it looks pretty much just like our other par can except for a few differences when we turn around and look at the back. As in our other units with the cords we have power in, power out, DMX in, DMX out, and our four channel LCD display which walks you through all our different menu functions. Now I'm not going to go over the menu functions because if you want to see how to operate the light check out the tutorial video on our quad LED because the programs and the menus are exactly the same. Now the differences we do see on this light, the battery operated light, we have a power switch here which switches our light on after it's gotten the full charge and now you can see our LCD display is up. It also features on this particular unit a little antenna. This is our built-in wireless DMX. Now these lights, all of our battery operated lights have the option of either built-in DMX or no built-in DMX. And to activate the DMX there is a little power switch up here and you flip that on you'll see this LED change color and it's red because it's not receiving a signal yet because we haven't got our transmitter turned on. When it does get a signal from our transmitter, this will pulse green, meaning it's receiving a signal. This uses the same receiver as our wireless DMX stick. It's the identical board. It's got the little push button here so you can change groups. You can have seven receivers per transmitter. And if you need to find out more about our wireless sticks and how they work, see the tutorials we have on our wireless sticks. But back to the battery operated light for now. Um, you charge the battery by plugging in your power cord for about 8 to 10 hours. When it gets a, when it's charging, there's two LEDs, it'll be red. This LED will light up red when it's charging, which means the battery is now fully charged. Once it is fully charged, the LED will turn off and this LED will light up green, letting you know that your battery is fully charged and ready to go. Another feature on this light is a user serviceable battery compartment. Um, basically like a car battery, you can charge up and discharge a battery uh, only so many times and each time it does hold less and less of a charge. Eventually the battery will expire and you need to replace it. A lot of the battery operated lights out today, you don't have an access door to get to it, you got to throw the light out or send it back to the manufacturer, pay for the battery and pay for the labor, labor to uh, put in a new battery. What we did here, six screws, pop the screws out, the panel drops out, the battery is attached to this panel, there's a little plug, you unplug it, take your battery out, throw it away, slide in a new battery, put your plug in, put your panel back in, in your screws, and you're ready to rock and roll. So this light will last you a long time, again, user serviceable, uh, replaceable battery. Now going back to our DMX, if you want to use the built-in DMX, again, you if you don't have DMX wireless sticks or a wireless DMX box, you can buy the unit with the built-in DMX and out of the box, it's ready to go. Uh, this is fully charged up and uh, as far as longevity of the bulbs, we've tested this on uh, just red and all the colors were on full. Red and we got for red or just green or just blue, we got uh, about 20 and a half hours on full intensity and eight hours on full white. Now most gigs are going to be four to six hours so these have more than enough to get you through your gigs but say you're on a gig and you're noticing that you know maybe halfway through your gig it's a long gig it's maybe a seven or eight hour, eight hour gig that your light is starting to droop lower and lower and lower down the wall. Uh, no worries there either because if you're near an outlet you could just plug in your power cord and you'll get the full power out of the light and the light will also start recharging itself while it's plugged in. Now I'll show you another neat feature. 
if you purchase the version of this light without built-in DMX, because possibly you've already purchased our wireless DMX sticks, well, you know with these normally you have to plug in the power brick, the little transformer, and one end goes into an outlet and the other end goes in here. With our battery powered lights, there is 5 volts of DC coming through the input, so you'll see the little LED light right there will light up red, and it's going to be facing the park hand, so you may or may not see it, but we just plug that in. And if you can see, we'll turn this sideways a little bit, if you can see the red glow against the white, it's blinking right now because it's looking for a signal, just like the other light was blinking red. It is getting power from our battery operated park hand. All right, so now we're going to turn on our computer and power up our DMX stick, which is transmitting, and we're going to show you how it works wirelessly with DMX. All right, everybody, here is our little DMX setup for our wireless battery operated park in. Uh, we're running a Acer Aspire 1 little netbook computer. Uh, it's basically got no horsepower, no memory. I mean, it's a very, very basic machine, and we're running. Freestyler DMX, and if you'll see right next to it, we're uh, interfacing with the Entech USB Pro dongle box. Uh, we do not sell that, but we do use Freestyler, and that is the box that we recommend. It works great. And right above it, you'll see we have one of our wireless DMX sticks. That is the transmitter, and you'll see it's flashing red, which means it's receiving a DMX signal right now from our Freestyle software, and it is going to be transmitted to our battery operated wireless light and our DMX antenna is right there and we don't have it turned on yet but I'm going to turn it on and you'll see the little LED right next to the power switch as soon as we turn this on it's going to start receiving a signal and it'll start to flash green starts off red and there you go it's flashing green and that means that it is now receiving that wireless DMX signal this is totally wireless, no power, no DMX cables, it's all operating wirelessly on its own. Now we can pull up our fixture and turn up the intensity and then open up all the windows associated with this and go to our colors palette pick a color and as you can see the colors are up we can scroll around any color you want we can strobe slow medium fast or off just back to full on and we're going to show you a little bit how the light looks up against our uh, warehouse wall and just as you're watching the following images, keep in mind we are standing from the camera to the wall where the light will be is 21 feet away. It is a 20 foot wide building and the ceilings are 15 feet tall.